Hi guys, so welcome, welcome, uh, to this uh special session for the mock test for the uh subject signal spectrum signal processing. So our first uh question is in the introduction to signals and systems. So a time domain energy signal x of t has an energy of 10 joules. Calculate the energy of the signal y of t equals 2 x of 5 t minus 6. Okay. So we're going to solve the problem, guys. All right. So what will be the solution? So first, no, before we solve the problem, let us review the concept first no, with regards to the energy and power. Okay, the relationship of energy and power to different signal processing uh, operations. Okay? All right. So first one, no? So let's talk about uh yeah, let's have a re review first. So let's review the concepts. Okay. So let's review the concepts. All right. So first, all right. Uh, let's say that the signal x of t okay has an energy of e and let's say no so uh yung x of t natin okay the energy of x of t is uh capital letter t now if we do amplitude scaling so let's say 1 uh we have k k multiplied into x of t so this is amplitude scaling right so what will happen guys is from e okay the energy would become k square e Okay, number two. So if we perform, okay, if we perform time scaling, so let's say we have x of kt. Okay, this is this is a time scaling operation. So what happens is that the energy would be divided by k. So yung kabalik talanya, let's say uh uh x of t over k, so mo multiply naman. No? So let us write also the uh uh tawag dito yung kabalik tara nito no so t over k so what will happen here is that the energy would simply be okay k multiplied by e okay 3 so we have time shifting so if we form time shifting let's say x of t minus k so what happens to the energy it will remain as e so energy is not affected by the time shifting operation so these are the ano, no? these are the important uh, results no that you should remember when it comes to the okay, when it comes to the uh, operations no ng independent and dependent variable and the relationship of to the energy now guys how about the power naman no so although the question is asking about the signal energy so let us also review no paano naman ang nangyayari sa power so let's say guys no uh, again we have the signal x of t and let's say its power is actually p all right so if we form amplitude scaling x uh, k into x of t so ano ang magiging power niya power would be simply k squared times p so if we perform amplitude scaling no so the power is actually also multiplied by k square the same as in the energy so this is one no so this is uh the first one First important result. First important result. Okay. So, second result, guys, is if we perform, okay, time scaling. So, let's say x of kt, okay, what will be its corresponding power? Power is still p. Remember, guys, that the uh, time scaling, okay, doesn't affect the power. So, p pa din yung power niya. Number three. Number t three, we have uh, shifting x of t minus k. Okay, again, uh, kagaya nung sa scaling, no? So, the shifting operation doesn't affect the power. So, P pa din ito. Okay, so only the uh, amplitude scaling affect, affects no the output, okay? Or uh, affects the power of a signal. So, now that we are done reviewing the concept, let us answer the problem. So, in this particular problem, guys, sabi daw, uh, our signal is X of T. Okay, our signal is X of T. And yung energy niya, according sa problem, is 10 joules. Energy is 10 joules. Now, uh, sabi rito, we are asked to solve no, for the uh, energy ng Y of T, which is ano, no, uh, obtained by performing several operations on independent and dependent variable. So the first one is amplitude scaling. So we have 2X of T. Okay, 2 into X of T. 
So, ano ang magiging result, no? So, the result of this one, again, no, as we can see, no, from the concept that we have reviewed, it is multiplied by the square of the uh, constant that we multiply. So, in this case, we have 2 square into 10 joules. So, 10, 2 square into 10 joules. And that would give 40 joules. That would give 40 joules. Next, in the natural order, no, especially when we are dealing with the uh, independent uh, variable, so what we do here, we have two x of t. Okay, first we perform time uh, shifting first. So we have uh, x of t minus six, x of t minus six. So that is the natural order, no? So mauna muna ang shifting. Okay, and as we know, guys, no, that in terms ng energy, the shifting doesn't affect the energy. So kung energy kita natin kanina, upon doing the amplitude scaling is forty joules. So ito simply forty joules pa din. 40 joules pa din siya. Alright? Okay. Next. Next. So, next natin guys, no? Okay, no? So, to be able to uh, obtain, okay, dy of t, next natin is we perform, okay, uh, time scaling. So, from the 2x of, di ba, t minus 6 kanina, we need to scale by 5. So, we have 5t minus 6. So, as we can see, no, we perform what we call as the Ano po? Time scaling. And we know guys, no, based dun sa concept na na-review po natin kanina, whenever we multiply a constant sa time, sa energy, madedivide siya. So yung energy natin kanina is 40 joules, no? So you just simply divide this by the constant 5. Okay? Kasi uh, 5 yung, ano, may multiply natin dito. So divide by 5 siya. So the result simply is 8 joules. Now, yung 2 Okay, this one, yung 2 x of t, 5 t minus 6. Basically, this is our y of t. And therefore, no, yung energy ng y of t natin is given by, okay, yung result sa kabila, we have 8 joules. And 8 joules is the answer. 8 joules is the answer. Okay? So, that is the answer, guys, no, for the problem sa introduction to signals and systems. Now, guys, no, for your part, no so this is the homework question guys all right no so we have the homework question po so the waveform of a periodic signal x of t is shown in the figure so ayan medyo pangit lang ng konti yung figure natin anyway so that is the figure guys no yeah so that is the figure Okay, so a signal G of T is defined by G of T equals X of T minus 1 all over 2. Calculate the average power of G of T. Okay, so for your answer, you know, so you just comment it, no? Yeah, no? And uh, see you sa next video. Bye!